So New Jersey, Minnesota, Phoenix, Columbus. So we'll just remember uh, Vernace was like what, third? Yeah, I think he was third. So we'll remember Phoenix. Actually, no, we'll remember Minnesota. Minnesota. I don't need to get the first round pick, but we'll remember Minnesota, okay? So here we go. And we got a ton of phones to work with. Perfect. All right, so if we're going to find a young sniper, we need to find somebody who's good in the NHL, who's got either a long term. A contract with this salary, but the salary has to be low because Stamkos is coming up next year. Or somebody who's on, only on a one-year contract who we can re-sign next year and who will still be young enough that if we can't re-sign him, qualifying offer and then trade him, okay? So yeah, so let's see how good uh, Le Cavalier is. So Le Cavalier's trade value, it's nothing amazing, but it's good enough, okay? And if you add in Brad Stewart with that, let's see. Stewart, yeah. So we're going to be able to find a good player for Stewart and Le Cavalier, absolutely. So let's try to find a nice winger. I don't want to find a natural center. I want to find a natural winger. Connolly's a right winger. I wouldn't mind finding a left winger. I won't get too picky about that, though. All right, so nope, nobody on the... Uh, I want somebody who's NHL ready. I don't want somebody young, okay? They can be young, but they got to be good then. I want someone who's at least 85, 86 overall. Uh, no, nope, nobody in Boston. Buffalo... Uh, Tyler Ennis wouldn't be bad. Three years left at 3.49. That is kind of a lot. Um, okay, we'll remember that. Tyler Ennis. That's not bad, though. It's not a huge contract, but I was hoping for something a little bit less. Uh, Braden Shen's got one year left. He's a two-way forward. Hang on a sec. just want to see two-way forward. BB, man, these guys are good. He'd be a good little player to grab. Um, if there would be another player I could put in there, but there's not. Cam Larry, he's too old. I'm not getting him. No, we're okay for that. Uh, let's keep going. Jeff Skinner, one year left, but he's going to want a lot next year. No, there's no point in getting Jeff Skinner. His trade value is way too much. Um, no, nope, no one there. Chicago, Kane, no way. <laughs> he's way too much. Taves, no, 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 no. Hosa, no. Nope. All right, Colorado. Uh, Shin Karuk, I think he's a playmaker. Yeah, I think Shin Karuk was a playmaker. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's getting good. He's getting a good defensive playmaker. Um, no, I want a good sniper. Columbus, uh, Grigorenko? Let's see what Grigorenko, if he's NHL ready, this, no, no, 78 overall, no, he's not NHL ready. Um, Rick Nash, no, 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 there's really nobody down here. Uh, Dallas, Jamie Benn, uh, 4.3 for another two years. He's gonna want a lot. 90 overall sniper, no, he's gonna want a lot when we have to resign him. Nope, he doesn't fit in. No, no one there. Detroit, uh, Datsu, Zetterberg. No, 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 no. Dandenoff? No, never. Um, Taylor Hall. Nah, he's way too much. Nah, 89 overall. Nah, he's going to want way too much next year. I don't need, like, Stamkos and Taylor Hall, man. Uh, Jordan Eberle. Hmm, one year left. So we, we would be re-signing him this year. And he's only 88 overall at 25 years old. Jordan Eberle could be a good pickup. All right, so... I'll remember Jordan Eberly now. Yeah, definitely remember Jordan Eberly. Um, Nick Ritchie. Ooh, this was that power forward young prospect. Let's see what this guy's coming up like. 77. Uh, B minus A. Ah, nah. He's got a great... Ooh, he's got a great defensive potential. He could already play in the NHL because of that defensive category. Yeah, he could. Nick Ritchie. Hmm. If I put Nick Ritchie and Jordan Eberly, Hang on a sec. Let me see the uh, trade potential. So, Jordan Eberly. Uh, I don't even think I would get Le Cavalier and Stewart for Jordan Eberle. No, nah, that wouldn't work. I'd have to add a lot more in. No, that won't work. Okay, so we'll remember Eberle just for now, okay? Uh, Hatcher. Ooh, who's this Hatcher guy? Right wing, 21 years old. Two-way forward. Ah, he's a two-way forward. I want a sniper. I want a sniper. All right, I want a sniper. I want someone who can really hold down some goals here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Who's this Hood guy? Uh, Jason Hood. Two-way forward, another great two-way forward with a great offensive potential. No, I want a sniper. That's what I'm looking for. Healy, Koivu, Clutterbuck, Zucker. Let's see what the Zucker guy is about. Uh, another two-way for all these two-way forwards, man. Where are the snipers at? Montreal. Uh, Eller, Bork, Harper, and Graves. Let's see what these Harper and Graves guy are all about. Ooh, Stephen Harper, Canadian Prime Minister, baby. Uh, sniper with an A- minus potential, and it's already up there. Now, he's not really NHL ready right now, but one year, and he, he's a good sniper to go. Oh, uh, okay. I like Everly more, oh, but he's got a three-year contract. Oh, man, that's that's rough. He will want a lot in three years kind of thing. And then we can get Josh Graves as well. If 
I can pick up these two, I think I might want to do this for Montreal. Harper and Graves. Harper and Graves, yeah, because they're two young guns who will be ready in a year or two, and we'll still have four more years when they're going to be ready, and they're both young, and one of them's a sniper, one of them's a power forward. All right, I think I like this. I do like this. All right, so the Cavalier has Harper, has has he has him covered just a little bit. It looks like, and he has Graves covered a little bit, and Stewart has them both covered. But they're both younger guys. All right, so yeah, I think I want to do this. Harper and Graves. Um, yeah, I do want to do this. Harper, because we already have Stamkos on the first line, Connolly on the second line. Harper could play the third line with that offensive category the way it is right now. And he has an A- minus potential. So it's one year and he will be NHL ready. Um, yeah, I think I want to get these two guys. Alright, so that's what I'm going to go for. Now let's see if there's anyone else that we can maybe add to the deal and make this a, a freaking huge trade. No, there's really no one else. They don't have anyone else. Defensemen, do they have any young defensemen I can pick up? Tenority, 23. Nickel, 19 years old. Let's see this. Uh, B-? minus. No, no, rather not. Defensive defenseman with a weak defensive category. No, thank you. Uh, Carey Price. No, we don't need Carey Price. All right, yeah, so I like this trade right here. Harper and Graves for Le Cavalier and Stewart. I think that'll go through. Like, it, I don't know if it'll go through, but it's. I don't think they'll be pissed off if I sent that just the way it is. So I'm just going to add some sevenths and a sixth just to add on to it, okay? So Vinny, Captain Vinny, we're going to say goodbye to you. And Brad Stewart, thank you for your services, both of you. You won. Vinny's won two Stanley Cups in Tampa Bay. Stewart got us a Stanley Cup. Thank you very much, but it's time to build for the future once again. Harper and Graves, will it work? No, proposal won't work for us here in Montreal, as we are not open to trading away young players. So you see what I mean? The trade value was good. We have them covered, but still, it's uh, very young players. So we'll add some uh, higher picks back here. So Montreal. Actually, you know what I can do? Because there was a few players, and I have to get rid of them anyways, before, because uh, I need to get, yeah, I do need to get rid of them. Okay, so Harper, there we go. Graves, all right. Uh, Le Cavalier and Stewart. Where is he? Stewart, 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 Stewart. Oh, he's at the top, right? Yeah, there he is. Um, okay, so who were the other guys I, I said I wanted to trade away? Leopold? No, I'm keeping him. Fenske, keeping him. Ballard, can't trade him. Graham, no, uh, Morrison, yes, Morrison, and he's got a pretty good trade value. Oh, that puts him above the uh, salary. Is there anyone with a one-year contract who's crap? Hang on. All skaters, one year with a good salary. Let me put the salary up. Hang on. Is there anyone here? Oh, this guy, Stowitz. Okay, they would accept that. Perfect. Um, okay, so let me see this again. So Morrison, who adds a little bit of trade value. Remember, Morrison was just somebody I just picked up in waivers. And I was going to get rid of him right away. Let's see if there's anyone else. Uh, Ballard, he's got one year. Keeping him. Uh, well, not keeping him, but I can't trade him. Uh, no, nobody like that. And the uh, defenseman. What about forwards? Is there anyone that I know I don't want to keep who's got some salary here? Uh, Stage and keeping Felino Jones. I'm keeping Jones. Ah, I can trade. No, nah, I'm keeping Jones. He's uh, He doesn't have an, enough salary. And you know what? He's a good waiver guy or injury guy if that if that happens. LaRose, keeping you guys. Uh, Terrell, keeping you. Okay, we're keeping everyone else. So, we added in the two sevenths and a sixth. Morrison has a lot better trade value than those sevenths and sixes, all right? So, we'll give the uh, two sevenths. Actually, you know what? We'll give the two fifths, all right? Just to make it a little bit better. So, the Cavalier, Stewart, and Morrison for Harper, Graves, and Staubitz, and two fifth round picks, all right, from us. Will it go through? Yes, it did. This is a really good deal for us here in Montreal. So definitely we're saying yes to this one. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, baby, I know what I'm doing. Absolutely. All right. So there you go. We did it. We uh, got that sniper. We got that uh, power forward. They're not exactly NHL ready, but you know what? We're not going to be the same team as we were this year. We just, we're not going to be able to trade for 89 overall. Two players who are 89 overall. It's okay because now in two or three years, we are going to be completely set. All right, we got our one Stanley Cup. We're still going to be competitive next year, but um, in two or three years, I mean, and then till the end of the uh, end of the ten year mark, we're going to be unstoppable, absolutely unstoppable. We have two power forwards now. We have three snipers, playmakers. All right, and we have grinders, great defensemen, a great goalie. Hell yeah, baby! The slow rebuild is finally done. All right, so since we picked up a twenty-two and a twenty-year-old, that's pretty much our draft right there. Uh, I just want to see if there's any other salary cap that I'm not remembering that I have to dump here. Joe Thornton, we got to resign. Uh, Ballard, we, you, you can't trade him anyways. Connolly, Stajan. I'm holding on to Stajan. 
Uh, Connolly, uh, Simmons, blah, blah, blah. Leopold, I'm holding on to. Felino holding on to. Allen Jones. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and tra trade this Jones guy. All right? I'm just going to try something here. Because remember, Minnesota had the second round pick. I'm just going to try something here. Minnesota, give me your first for Jones. My first. All right? Um, second. And two-fourths. I'm not going to go crazy here, but if this goes through, I mean, this is, a, this is a steal. I don't think it will, and if it doesn't, that's okay. But Jones, a first, two-fourths, and a sixth. No, okay. So we're not going to try anything here. Nope, that's it. So here we go. We got the 30th overall pick. Let's see what that Vernace guy get. That, that uh, Vernace guy went to Columbus. All right, boys? So here we go. We got our pick here. Let's see who's up in the draft. Uh, Sontag, Cal Sontag, two-way defender from Sweden. Ty Hand. Ooh, this tie hand guy. I think he was actually a pretty good defensive defenseman, if I remember. Yeah, I'm going to get this tie hand guy, right? 6'4", defensive defenseman, 20 years old. Absolutely. Boom, baby. All right. Now, for the rest of the draft, we don't really have anything else, so we'll just skip it. Uh, Columbus is calling us. Let's see what they got first. Uh, Umberger and Ott for LaFontaine. Man, that's not a bad trade because it does help. An, uh, it would help a Stanley Cup run right away, and it would help their rebuilding. But no, I'm keeping LaFontaine. We don't need like those guys. Uh, no, we're good. All right, so there you go. Let's simulate the auto draft. All right, and there you go, boys. All right, so what do you think about that trade? We traded away LeCavalier and Stewart, two 35-year-olds, for a 20-year-old sniper and a 22-year-old uh, power forward. I don't know. I think it was pretty good. I don't know. You know, we're not going to be as good as we were last year, but all of our young guns are going to get NHL time now. And by next year, we're going to be back. We're going to be reloaded, okay? And you never know. Stamkos, Bernie Mac, we have a good defensive core. We're still going to be a competitive team, but we just don't have that depth at center like we did last year. But I don't know. I think that was a great trade. The next video, re-sign and free agency, baby.